Welcome once again to Diane's Kitchen. No, it's not a cooking show. This is a little chat, a neighborhood chat. Find out what's going on in the neighborhood, interview some interesting people about some interesting things taking place in the Shell Lake Spooner, Washburn County, Wisconsin area. It's a beautiful day here in Spooner, uh, sunny, 70s, absolutely perfect. Our guest today is here representing the Shell Lake Arts Center. This is one of those gems that if you don't know about it, you're really missing out. This school was started, I've got a ton of notes, in 1967. And since then, they have run 40,000 students through the program. Our guest today is Jack Knowlton, which I said before should be Lord Knowlton. <laughs> He's English. Nice. Doesn't that sound nice? <laughs> that sounds very nice. Yes, we have Lord Knowlton here today. Uh, evidently, he there is a manor in England, the Knowlton Manor. Not mine, no. but it should be. <laughs> <laughs> it might be if we keep pressing this. So, um, Do you have business cards? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and if so, please tell me you're going to put Lord on there from uh, now on. From now on, for sure. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Lord Jack yeah. Knowlton. Welcome. Thank you. It's great to be here. Good. Um, the Arts Center was originally started by a Shell Lake music teacher who used to take his students to Madison for camp, music mm -hmm. camp. And then he thought, why aren't I creating one of my own? Mm -hmm. He did. It's been a huge success, but sadly, almost like a, a little hidden gem. Right. How, yeah. How did you find out? Well, I had a similar, uh, similar story, I guess. I was in middle school. And my parents were tired of driving me all over the Midwest to have great music opportunities. And then we heard about this place called Shell Lake. Okay, wait. Where are you from? I'm from Eau Claire. Eau Claire. Okay. So this is much closer than heading to the cities, heading oh, to yeah. Chicago. Um, yeah, we heard about this place called Shell Lake. And I'm a jazz saxophonist, so I came for um, one week the first summer. And then came back for the next five years. I fell in love with it. When you first got here, I mean, it's not like Eau Claire is a thriving metropolis, especially <laughs> when you were young. Right, now right. it's really starting to hold its own. It is. Were you surprised it was in a tiny town? Yeah, I had no idea what to suspect. What to suspect. Um, it, coming into Shell Lake, you don't, you don't expect it to be such a vibrant music community, but after a couple days at the art center, interacting with the teachers, interacting with the other students, you it changes how you think about it. You know, you can tell that there's a level of musicianship here that's unique to small towns, but um, truly incredible. It really is, and the story of the Shell Lake Art Center is just amazing. Mm -hmm. You, according to your information come from the Frost School of Music. I do, yes. Evidently, it was named after a person because it's in Miami, <laughs> <It> Florida. <is. laughs> so Yes. <laughs> Frost. Right, right. Um, yeah, and I actually, that's because of what I did here. Um, coming here, I interacted with professors from all over the country, and you make long-lasting connections with them. And so when I was looking into colleges, um, I reached out to them, and they gave me lists of schools that I should apply to, and Miami was the one I chose. Um, but I definitely wouldn't have made it there without first coming to Shell Lake, Wisconsin, which is funny, you know? It is. Um, that this could be a stepping stone to such a large city, such a large music scene, but yeah. That is really cool. I mean, mm -hmm. growing up in Eau Claire, coming to school in Shell Lake, and now Miami. Right. You like Florida? <laughs> I do. Do you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I came back to Wisconsin for spring break this year, actually, and there was snow on the ground, so I quickly headed back to my 80-degree <laughs> temperatures. But back your air conditioning. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> no central heat, but lots of air conditioning, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, yeah. You and like the food? 
Are you into that whole... <laughs> the Cuban culture? Yeah. I'm getting more into it. I need to brush up on my Spanish a little, but yeah, it's definitely, it's something different, which is what I was looking for, you know, coming from Wisconsin. I, I'd done the, I'd done the Midwest thing. And so I wanted to see what the big city life was all about. And Miami is a great place to do that. It's a whole different world down there. It sure is. And considerably <laughs> warmer. Yes. You are back now after five years as a camper? Five years as a camper, yeah. You are back now as? A counselor. What does that mean? So um, there are six counselors, and our job is everything non-musical to do with the students. So the teachers come in. They make sure that the students can learn music. Um, they give them the ability to do that. But we um, make sure that the students have an overall positive experience because it shouldn't just be about the music. We want to make sure that they're making friends, they're having fun. Um, so our main responsibility is student fun and safety. What a great idea. Yeah. I would never have thought if I was running something like this to do that. You know, usually you just let the kid, here you are, uh, just acquaint yourself and figure it out. And Right. Well, and I've I've been to camps that are more like that too. I've been to camps where you wake up in the morning and you go to classes and then it's just kind of a free for all after that. But I think having a counseling staff here, having people who are completely devoted to make sure making sure the students are enjoying their time here, um, helps build a sense of community within the art center. It helps the kids come back each year. And you're not just being a babysitter either. No. <laughs> and, Although it feels like it sometimes. Oh yeah. It, because how old are these kids? They range from thirteen to eighteen. <laughs> so oh, boy. there's a lot there's a lot going on between those ages, but um yeah, it's it's great. Um, these kids, mm -hmm. they come on Sunday. They do come on Sunday. They yes. leave on? Friday. Friday. Yes. What all do you cram in <laughs> those short days? Quite a bit. We get them up at 7 each morning, put them to bed at 11 each night. So that's a lot of hours yeah. in the day. Um, a typical day... They'll wake up at 7, they eat breakfast, they'll be in classes until about 3. Um, when they're done at 3, they have a little free time, you know. We play ping pong, we'll go play capture the flag. Head and the counselors all take naps. Yes, exactly. <laughs> While they're in class, all we do is sleep. No, but um, the, we'll, we'll go down to the beach if it's nice, you know. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Shell Lake, it's only warm one day right, a year. Right, <laughs> I know. Deep into August <laughs> somewhere. Um, but then... Yeah, free time, and there's usually a concert each night um, put on by the faculty, you know. We decided we have all these faculty from L.A., from New York, all these great musicians. We might as well have them play for the kids, right? Sure. So um, we'll have a super wide array of, of faculty concerts. We have a all polka concert during our concert band week. Really? Which is fun, yeah. But then we have a rock band faculty concert, too, wow. so... The kids really get to not only learn a lot about music, but see really high-level musicians achieving. And be a part of music. Oh, 100%. That's that's the whole thing. It's building a community where everyone realizes how important music is and what role they can play in that. How interesting. Now, what do you play? I'm a jazz saxophonist right. primarily. Yep. How did you pick the sax? Um, or was it picked for you? It was just kind of luck. I don't know. Um I picked it coming out of elementary school, and one of my friend's brothers played the saxophone, so I was like, might as well. Um, and yeah, the rest is history. You still play the sax? I still play, yeah. I, I mean, it was something that you just picked up and went, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, so many kids, you know, as soon as high school is over, right? they either sell it or lose it or whatever, their right. instrument. Mm -hmm. I, For me, it was... It was a really important part of my life, you know. It was something that I had fun with. And coming to Shell Lake, I realized that it didn't just need to be a hobby, you know. You can Good for you, you can make music a big part of your life. And I thought if I have fun with it, you know, sure. why not? So what do you do here at the Frost School of Music in beautiful downtown <laughs> warm Miami? I study uh, music education and jazz saxophone. So I'm focusing on 
teaching music and also bettering myself as a musician. So what's the ultimate goal? Five years from now, where are you and what are you doing? Yeah, you need to get a degree in saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. You can, yeah. Really? Um, yes. The, the plan for me right now is I want to finish out college and then go teach abroad for a little while. I want to see what other cultures think of music. You know, I want to I want to be a part of it somewhere else. The same reason I went to Miami, but this time a little further. Um, I want to do that for a few years and then think about grad school, you know, decide what part of music I want to make. Keep your life. options open. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What a great idea. Yeah. Good. Um, the Arts Center is known for their concerts. Mm -hmm. How many concerts do these kids, or I don't know if you call them concerts, how many performances will a camper experience from, well, actually Monday morning? Right, to Friday. So the campers will perform in their own concerts on Friday, and um, some camps have other forms of concerts on Thursday for the campers, our jazz weeks. Um, they play with their big ensembles on Friday, but on Thursday they play with their smaller ensembles so that every student gets a chance to witness both sides of the jazz world. Um, typically there'll be concerts Monday and Wednesday and Thursday. Um, so really it's only, only one day off for the kids. Is, is there, a, is it a theme each week where this week is the jazz week, this week is a this? I, and, and maybe a larger question is, do you have a lot of kids that come back? multiple weeks or for like a month straight or if they actually stay for four weeks or come four straight weeks it's yeah i learned this two weeks ago so we'll all each week is different um this week for example we have trombone camp guitar and bass camp drum camp and you <laughs> he played the trombone oh well we'd love to have you if i could find um, it <laughs> and then we also have our one of our newest camps, music production, going on this week. Okay, what what does that mean? So music production is um, anything to do with music and electronics. Really, they're the people who, when you go into the studio and you record, they're going to make it sound good. Okay, so hold on, I'm gonna stop you there. Uh, are these people? Uh, do they work for free? Uh, the, we could use some help with that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think you'll find many music producers that work for free, but um, if we can get some campers up here if you want. I, I may have to just enroll for a whole week just for that class. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been great. We started it out uh, last year, and we had six or seven six or seven kids, and it's expanded this year, and um, oh. it's really cool. It's a really interesting thing to have because we're used to having kids with instruments, you know, but. Yeah. It's, it's Are these really the guys that sit in those rooms and then they're, and they they're move constantly all the buttons. doing yeah. this all the time? Yeah, I have no idea what they do. but Every <laughs> once in a while, I'll move just this on the mixer board. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I just move them like, all right, there you go. We that should get you into camp then, yeah. yeah, we should. <laughs> yeah. Nobody would any of them do. Yeah, he skipped the trombone camp, so maybe we could get into this one. Um, something else that I was not aware of that the Arts Center does this uh, runs from June to, what is it, August? Yep, early August we usually finish up. Music theater, mm. filmmaking, mm -hmm. painting and drawing. Yeah, yeah. Those are also, I mean, those are some of some of my favorite weeks personally because I, I came for most of the jazz weeks. I, I understand the concert band side of things, but it's just amazing to get these, these like, filmmaking kids in there, you know? I know. Because... It's not something that you, no. a, a lot of kids have access to, you know, you have the, how often does a kid go somewhere and make a movie? It's, it's, it's unique. In Shell Lake. Yeah. In Shell Lake, Wisconsin. Yeah. It's, it's super unique and the kids are fascinating and having those faculty too, it's just what an, it's such a great environment to be in. It has to be because this, these faculty, like you say, these people went on to do great things. Oh, Big yeah. things. We music have, things. Yeah, we have a sign hanging up in uh in the dorms that has lists of all the people that um graduates of the camp have played with and it's in, it, Michael Jackson, Aretha Franklin, any any big name you could think of in the last 20 years. You know, we've we've sent someone to play, which is I think for a lot of kids that may not know the history of the camp, that may not right. know the caliber. They right. come caliber. just exactly. They come expecting just to, you know, play trombone a little bit. But mm. to see that someone was in their shoes and went on to do 
such incredible things. I think it's it's really inspiring for kids. Well, it must be. I mean, how many years you came as a camper? Oh, now yeah. you're here yeah. as a counselor. And mm-hmm. you find that like the first time they get there, it's oh, my parents are sending me the <laughs> Shell Lake, and then they see all of those that board with where all these people have gone and and who they've played with. Right. You kind of see this transition from uh, wow, and by the end of the week, they're like. That was amazing. Well, I that happened to me. I'm pretty sure my parents just wanted to get me out of the house for a week. Um, and then I came and my parents make fun of me on the on the car ride back. And they're like, oh, how was it? And I went, that was the best week oh, of my life. Wow. And so I came back as often as I and could. And back and back and, and back. I haven't and left back. yet. Yeah. And now you're part of the part of the program. Exactly. Do you ever get to play? Yes. Um, we, we do get chances to play. Um, the faculty are great about Again, because it's such an environment that's conducive to learning, they want to make sure that everyone is getting to learn. And um, all of the counseling staff are musicians. So um, whenever it's a week that we have expertise in, if, we're, if you're a singer, um, musical theater week or something, they'll, they'll, ask, us to, they'll ask us to help out. We'll play well, is a that what musical theater is? Yeah, musical theater is, you know, we're, we're trying to get the kids to Broadway. Um, it's that kind of... It's that oh. kind of it's super cool. They actually, yeah. the faculty we have come in, write the show each year. They take snippets from a bunch of different Broadway, off-Broadway shows, and they write a show so that each kid gets a starring role, which is super cool. So no one comes to musical theater camp and they're like, oh, you can be the oh, sure, tree. Sure. Yeah. You, know, they, you can they, be the Oompa Loompa over yeah. there. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Oompa Loompa six. Yeah. <laughs> each kid gets yeah. a starring role in wow. some sort yet there's still a plot it's it's awesome that is cool do they put on a, a show at the end they do yeah and it's usually our it's usually our last week of camp um in on, august sometime mm-hmm, early august on friday they they put on a show complete with oh, costumes and fun. sets and oh yeah it's it's really no wonder really kids great. come back oh yeah that's yeah what a great thing mm-hmm. some of these kids don't have enough money to come that's right so every year the Art Center does a tribute to the big band. That's right. This is a uh, concert you've got to pay for. This 90% is... of these concerts are free. Yes. This is one of our only concerts that you have to pay for. And it's, uh, what, $15 for adults, $5 for students. Correct. Under 18. And this money, according to the information we have from the Art Center, each year we give away nearly $30,000 in scholarships mm-hmm. yeah so and this is this is the main way we raise that money um it's it's really important because it is you you have kids for a week it's an expensive thing to do so there are fees associated with camp but we don't want that to be a barrier That's for great. anyone to be able to express themselves and develop as an artist so um yeah jazz has been our tradition we started off as a jazz camp we're the longest running jazz camp in the country so each year we uh yeah each year we have this tribute to the big band concert where all our incredible faculty come and play a super cool show lots of swing music dancing is encouraged um <laughs> and yeah it's it's a really it's a really cool thing to witness great music and every dollar will go towards a student like learning. yourself yeah exactly when you were younger yes uh, what I find interesting is this year the Art Center is also going to participate in the July 3rd Black Party and Fireworks Extravaganza yeah. in Shell Lake, an hour of jazz starting right. at 7 o'clock. I know. Yeah, I'm super excited about that. We always bring the kids down to see the fireworks, you know, but um, this year we're kind of bringing the whole center down. How nice. It's it's going to be super cool. We're gonna They're going to play at the, at the Shell on the lake and... Uh, Completely free, um, just kind of be part of the festivities. Sure. So people can bring their lawn chairs and have exactly. a good time. Yeah. Exactly. Hold on. You said that this was the longest running, what was it, jazz? Jazz. The longest running yep. jazz camp in the country. Okay, that's incredible. Yeah. I, you uh, would think. Again, it, going back to the whole, really? Shell Lake? Though? Exactly. Because I don't think anyone thinks about that. But I think that's also because when you live here, uh, you, you don't realize it. Yeah. And it's like, uh, don't we have the, world, the, what was that, wood carving museum? Yeah. Mm. I've been there once, <laughs> but there are people that come from everywhere, and it's you came here for that. Other, yeah, but it's other just bizarre. Countries. Yeah, yeah. Fifty-two years they've been having That's jazz right. camp. Why, why do you think that that this one has 
been around for that. I'm sure there have been others that started before this mm -hmm. um, that aren't there anymore. Why aren't those there anymore? And why is Shell Lake the Arts Center? Why is it still there? Well, a few things. I think one, the caliber of our faculty. These truly are master teachers. These everyone's incredible. You won't find an education like this anywhere else. But I think a big part of it too is the community. Um, Shell Lake has embraced the Art Center, you know, and the Art Center has embraced Shell Lake. And I think there's this symbiotic relationship that is just mm. so unique that, you know, you can't not come back. There's something about it that just keeps kids coming back. Oh, I know. I was gone for 20 years. Couldn't wait to get <laughs> out of here when I was 18. And well, it goes back. Yeah. Hey. yeah. <laughs> because it's, there's something about Shell Lake, man. It, yeah. There's just something about this area. I interview a lot of people mm -hmm. and I say, so what brought you here? And they inevitably say, we were passing through or we stopped to camp or mm -hmm. we, we just fell in love with this mm -hmm. and now we're retired here. And yeah. We love it. I don't know what it is. Could well, be in the water. Yeah. I mean, what's not to love? It's a beautiful place full of high quality art and high quality people. It's yeah great. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> More information on any of this is at what? ShellLakeArtsCenter.com. Correct. And there again, when you put Shell Lake, you got three, three L's yeah. in a row. So uh, Shell Lake yeah. Arts Center. Whoever has the domain for Shell Lake with just Shell Lake with two L's, mm. they must make a fortune. <laughs> All the mistypes. Oh. Right. <laughs> sure. just, just buy the domain and throw some Google ads on it. Too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Extra income. You don't have to publish anything on that. <laughs> so if you want more information about the big band, which is July 26th at 7, mm -hmm. and that's in the Daryl Aderman Auditorium. Auditorium okay. And don't forget the free concert on July 3rd at the Pavilion, which you called the Shell. Yes. I'm oh, sorry. is that the cool name we're supposed to call it? A <laughs> uh, band shell. That's. Uh, the sh yeah. The, the shell. That actually I makes like more me. sense. And it would actually make sense just because, you know, Shell Lake. And, right. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Now, how did we never think of that before? All right. Maybe everybody's been calling that, and it's just you and I have it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the pavilion. Yeah. It it's, might the, it's the shell looking thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's cool. Oh, the shell. That's just like in Chicago. It's called the cloud gate. Mm -hmm. But yet everybody that lives there calls it the bean. Because oh, it yep. looks like a yeah, silver sure, yeah. sure, kidney sure. bean. Yeah. So next week, we are interviewing Chamber of Commerce from Shell Lake. And they are going to knock your socks off with all the information on what has changed for July 3rd fireworks mm. so stay tuned and if you want more information about the art center any information about call camping him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> call him shell lake arts center oops dot org sorry oh, was it oh org? that's yeah. right I oh gosh oh boy com. i might get fired <laughs> <laughs> yes but you've got a manner yeah. In That's England, right. I can so. retire to my manor. You yeah. can't fire a lawyer. I'm just <laughs> no, saying. Definitely. Let them know that. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Yeah. Keep it cooking. <laughs>